Hey guys, Saf here. Hope you all are having an amazing day. Well, today, guys, we'll be taking a look at the top five features of the Lineage OS. And guys, nowadays, people don't use stock ROMs. They actually use ASP ROMs. And this ROM in particular is used most often. So yeah, let's take a look at the first feature of all list, and that is the color calibration feature. Guys, if you use Android phones with the AMOLED screens, you might have noticed that with the passage of time, the color temperature of the AMOLED screen moves towards the warmer temperature and the screen starts giving out the yellow S10. I have faced this issue so many times with my phones and I'm Honestly, I'm not a big fan of that but with this ROM you can no longer have that stupid issue so yeah for that you have to move to settings and in settings you have to go to display and in display you will find the live display option so yeah tap on that and here guys you can make changes to the colors of your screen so in advance you can see you have the color calibration feature here so you have reds you have greens you have blues so yeah make changes to the colors according to your taste and you also have the color temperature here well for my display settings I actually keep the day temperature to the colder side so that my white colors really pop up. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the next feature in our list and that is the privacy guard feature. The good thing about Lineage OS is that it actually gives you the control over almost all the applications on your smartphone so that you can give them certain permissions for accessing your data. So for that feature guys, you have to go to settings and inside of settings, scroll down until you see the privacy tab. So once you find that, click on that and inside of it guys, you will find the privacy guard option. So yeah, tap on it and here guys, you will find all of the third party applications installed on your smartphone and you can go ahead and click on any of the application to either enable or disable privacy guard feature for it and if you long press on any of the application you will be taken to the page where you will find almost all the permissions for that particular application for performing certain tasks like I have here permissions for Wi-Fi for messages for contacts for a camera and what so on so yeah go ahead and change the permissions if you wish to and another good thing I really like about privacy guard feature is that it actually lets you uh, enable or disable uh, the certain application from running in the background and also starting when the phone actually uh, boots up so there are a lot of applications out there who run in the background without you even knowing about them and they eat up a lot of your battery and your bandwidth so yeah you can go ahead and stop them from doing that so uh, with the privacy guard feature all right guys so let's move to the next feature in our list and that is the battery power saving feature and guys you might have seen that when the phone's battery reaches 5% by default on Android the power saving mode is enabled well with this from you can have that feature enabled not only at 15% but also at 25% so how can you enable that feature well for that you have to go to settings and inside of settings you have to go to battery and then you have to click on battery saver and performance and once you have clicked that you have to click on automatic power saver so here guys you will find different choices for battery percentages and go ahead and choose at which percent you want the automatic power saver to be enabled on your smartphone all right guys time for the next feature of the list and that is zero station feature and it is a really important one well at least for me and I hope guys there has been some time with you that while you were doing some important task on your phone you accidentally rotated your phone and your rotation just ruined your work well you can avoid that happening with this ROM so how can you do that well for that you have to go to settings and inside of settings you have to go to display and in display you will find the rotation setting so tap on that and here guys you can go ahead and specify which rotation modes you want on your smartphone all right guys so time to talk about the last but not the least feature of the list and that is the protected apps feature well with this feature you're in fact getting a built-in app locker inside of this rom so how can you get access to it well for that you have to tap on the home screen for like one second and then you will find this little gear icon so tap on that and in the bottom guys you will find the protected apps feature and guys you can also get access to it via settings so for that you have to move to settings and inside of settings you will find the privacy tab so click on that and here guys you can see you have the protected apps feature now guys when you will first tap on it it will actually ask you to draw the pattern for locking your applications now since I've already set it I'm gonna go ahead and draw the pattern and here guys you can see I have all the applications installed on my smartphone now you can go ahead and choose whichever application you want to get protected so I'm gonna go ahead and choose files so after you have selected your application if you go back inside of app drawer you will no longer find that application here now you might be wondering hey I just uh, protected my application but how can I get access to it myself well for that you have to go back to protected applications uh, you have to draw the pattern 
and there you go you have that application here now you have to click on this little square uh, with an arrow coming outside right next to the protected application and your application will open so yeah this is how you can uh, protect your applications and yeah that's about it i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did please go coconut on the like button and yeah let me know in the comments below what do you think about that video and i will see you all in my next video